name of Yahshua. We thank God for today. I thank God for what he is doing in your life, my life, family life, neighborhood life, everywhere. We want to thank him tonight for everything that he is doing. Let me say, I want to open up. The Lord just took me here in Mark 11. Started at the second verse and said unto them, <clears throat> Prophet, he's been giving me this for years. This, this very scripture, this chapter, he's been giving it to me for years. It says, And say unto them, Go your way into the village over against you. And as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a cult tie where, whereon never man sat. Loose him and bring him. Loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord has need of him, and straightway he will send him him. And when they were, and when they went their way, and found the coat tied by the door, without in the place where two ways met, and they loosed him, untied. And a certain of them that stood there said unto them, listen at this, why do ye loosening the coat? And they said unto him, unto them, even as Yeshua had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the coat to Yeshua and cast their garments on him and as he sat up on him many spread their garments in the way and the others cut down branches off the tree and and straw them in the way and they that went before and they that followed crying saying hosanna Blessed is he, he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I have need of him. You know what I like about this? If you notice that anything that Yahshua dealt with and he was getting ready to use it for a purpose, because y'all know everything, God has a purpose. Am I, am I there? He has a purpose. But notice Prophet Harrison, Pastor Stevens. He told him to go untie a coat, Prophet Alexis, that had never been sat on, never been rid. In other words, it was fresh. Woo, my, 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 my. It was fresh. It had not been contaminated. Mm. Nobody had ever rolled on this coat. And God is saying to us tonight, I still have need of you. Doesn't matter what you're going through right now. You got to understand that God has what? Need of you. He took that coat. And as he sat on it, he was the first one to break that on in. Ha <laughs> ha Woo, my God, my God. Notice he didn't get a used coat. Sometimes, are we looking in the wrong areas? Are we looking for a used vehicle? Mm. Are we looking for a used car, a house? Uh, maybe the Lord wants to give you something fresh that nobody has ever encountered. Tonight is the night, even though I give all my condolence to uh, 
uh, Marcel Williams family because they did go ahead and killed him. And I say killed him. They executed him tonight. An innocent man. <laughs> and the government said, I don't care in Missouri. There might be some consequences behind that. Because you never know who they are to God. That that life will not be in vain. Because that blood will cry from the ground. See, y'all don't understand. This is what's going on now. That blood is crying from the ground. Those blood that you keep hanging from the trees that's shooting down and executing them. That blood still remains here. Ooh, that's how powerful Yahshua is that the blood does not even die. Oh, my God. Even though they drain it from my body, our blood still has a way of speaking to Yahshua. Oh, my God. Doesn't matter what you say or do. God is going to get the glory somehow in some way. He going to get the glory out of that situation. I don't understand how we can allow people to run in positions as leaders, as presidents, and have such a disdain on his life, but we take an innocent man, knowing that he's innocent, and say, but we're gonna go ahead and we gonna go ahead and proceed on. I pray that God deal with you tonight, y'all. I pray that he deal with the officials in Missouri. That's somebody's child. That's somebody's brother. That's somebody's friend. That life meant something. That life had value. Don't you ever allow Satan to tell you that your life has no value. Mm. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, there's some funny things coming to the pipe. <laughs> The more Satan keeps acting out, the more God got to show you, I'm still God. I'm still getting to. I want you to watch this first video. Mm. I'm going to say this. Y'all better be very mindful and very careful who we're putting in positions. I don't care about the color. I don't care about the gender. But I do care about the heart of that person. And when somebody show you that they're deranged, please believe it. Don't get in a situation that I didn't know. Please believe it. Like they said, believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. But let me tell you this. you best to believe when they show you who they are. You can't follow when they show up. Well, tonight, a major scandal is brewing in North Carolina's race for governor, one that could have national implications in a key battleground state. There are growing calls for Republican candidate Mark Robinson, currently the state's lieutenant governor, to drop out of the race after CNN unearthed outrageous comments he allegedly made on a pornographic website. But the lieutenant governor says he's not going anywhere. This is a politician who has a long history of making incendiary comments about women, Jewish people, and the LGBTQ community. CBS's Ed O'Keefe has the details. We are staying in this race. We are in to win it. And we know that with your help, we will. But that's in question now. CNN first reported a series of past anti-Semitic and sexual comments by Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson on at least one pornography website with a username matching photos of him and his biographical information. In posts dating back to 2008, Robinson called himself a black Nazi, expressed support for reinstating slavery, recounted secretly watching women shower when he was a teenager, and made other lewd comments. He denied it all today. 
Those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. But Robinson canceled scheduled campaign appearances today and didn't show up Wednesday at a rally for GOP vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance. Former President Donald Trump has praised Robinson on the campaign trail. I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. Robinson was given a national platform by speaking at the Republican convention, where we caught up with him. Lieutenant Governor Ed O'Keefe from CBS News, hey, how, how are you, sir? We got, we got a run. I'm How's your race? It's going fantastic. It's going fantastic. Yes, sir. Recent polls show him trailing Democratic candidate Josh Stein, who today said North Carolinians already know. Mark Robinson is completely unfit to be governor. Now, ballots are already printed in North Carolina, but state law says candidates have until midnight tonight to drop out of any race. And if Robinson does so, the state's GOP executive committee would pick a replacement and voters would vote for the new contender by voting for Robinson on their ballot. Members of both parties believe his unpopularity could drag down Trump and help Vice President Harris win battleground North Carolina. Ed O'Keefe breaking down all the latest details. What a story. Thank you. Can you imagine that that is going to represent you as your official? See, you can only do as a do boy when you are on the same level, when you are in the same head zone, when you don't have no respect for women, no respect for life, no respect for you. You don't even have it for yourself. Because I was very, I was moved when I actually heard him say, I want slavery to come back so I can buy a couple of them. What we think about what we're trying to put it on. For those that are undecided and you want to play with the fire, don't play with that fire because it will burn you. It could start you very bad. You might not bounce out of that. I'm going to say again, when somebody show you that they are, whoo, how can they walk together except they want properties? They got to agree. They got to agree, they got to have the same mentality, the same attitude. And it's so sad that our young men and our young women, and I, you know, I was uh, doing my thing today, talking to you, you know, posting for the uh, meetings and all of it. And I had people, you know, I, I made a response because I sent the letter out that Dr. Barber in, in the meeting last night, he told them, this is what we're saying to Trump and J.D. Vance. So I, I was on there. And I began to get all these little trolls, because that's what it is. And they began to say, are, are you serious? Get the facts. Get the truth. Did we not hear on that debate, I, I, I'm not understanding what debate they was watching. But did we not hear that he said the Haitians are in Springfield, Ohio, eating cats and dogs? And when they replied, they said, we got investigators that said it is true. You know, when the devil started lying, he will never know how to tell you the truth. Every day you think about it, we got to go back and we got to go and listen and retract our day and make sure we ain't tell nobody through the day. Make sure that we was being honest. And if we can't show it, oh, Father, forgive me. Because every day we gotta check ourselves and I'm, I, I am just I'm blown out of the water to try to find out how do you just keep telling all those lies all day long that would just 
Pastor Neil just blew my mind. I, I, I couldn't do it. I, I mean, it, it's just too much. I, I would not be able to tell those false allegations, and you have caused harm to people that should not be in harm's way. And all the leaders of the, uh, the uh, ministry team had to come together and begin to pray. And this letter got to go out expeditiously and let you know we're not going to tolerate it. I wish people would understand the truth. Because when the truth is in your face, you cannot go and deny, to deny it. Watch this video. Madam Vice President, I want to move to Springfield, Ohio, and what's happening yeah. there. We've seen school closures, yeah. parents worried about their kids leaving the home because of racist conspiracy theories that I won't repeat here, but they have been repeated by um, leaders on um, the Republican side, President Trump, um, Vice President, um, excuse me, former President Trump Vice, <laughs> and Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance. From your perspective, is this just a case of irredeemable racism that can't be mitigated by any rational action? Or is this a situation in which a federal response could help this community heal? There's a question of resources and... Um, well, no, I, 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 I'll let you finish and then I'll speak. No, please. It's a crying shame. I mean, my heart breaks for this community. You know, there were um, children, elementary school children, who it was, it was school photo day. You remember what that's like? Going to school on picture day? Who were dressed up in their best, got all ready, knew what they were gonna wear the night before, and had to be evacuated. Children, children. Um, a whole community put in fear. And I'll say a couple things about it. Um, one, you know, I learned a long time ago in my career, having a background as a prosecutor, when you have these positions, when you have that kind of microphone in front of you, you really ought to understand at a very deep level how much your words have meaning. I learned at a very young stage of my career that the meaning of my words could impact whether somebody was free or in prison. As Attorney General, I was a, of California, fifth largest economy in the world. I was acutely aware that my words could move markets. When you are bestowed with a microphone that is that big, there is a profound responsibility that comes with that, that is an extension of what should not be lost in this moment, this concept of the public trust, to then understand what the public trust means. It means that you have been invested with trust to be responsible in the way you use your words, much less how you conduct yourself. And especially when you have been and then seek to be again President of the United States of America. And so I go back to, it's a crying shame, literally. What's happening to those families, those children in that community, not to mention what is happening in terms of, look, you say you care about law enforcement, law enforcement resources being put into this because of these serious threats that are being issued against a community that is living a productive good life before this happened. And, and spewing lies that are grounded in tropes that are age old. And look, I said it not very far from here the other day at the debate. This is not new. This is not new in terms of these tropes. This is not new in terms of where it's coming from. And, you know, whether it is 
refusing to rent to people, rent to black families, whether it is taking out a full page ad in the New York Times against five innocent black and Latino teenagers, the Central Park Five, calling for their execution, whether it is referring to the first black president of the United States with a lie, birther lies. And look, the American people deserve, and I do believe want better than this. I do believe that. I know, I know, the vast majority of us as Americans know we have so much more in common than what separates us. I know that. I know that regardless of someone's background, their race, their gender, their geographic location, I know that people are deeply troubled by what is happening to that community in Springfield. Ohio. And it's got to stop. And we've got to say that you cannot be entrusted with standing behind the seal of the President of the United States of America, engaging in that hateful rhetoric that, as usual, is designed to divide us as a country, is designed to have people pointing fingers at each other. It's designed to do that. And I think most people in our country, regardless of their race, are starting to see through this nonsense and, and to say, you know what, let's turn the page on this. This is exhausting and it's harmful. And it's hateful. And, 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 and grounded in some age old stuff that we should not have the tolerance for. So let's turn the page and chart a new way forward and say, you can't have that microphone again. I would totally agree. That when you have that much animosity, and when you think you are untouchable, I agree that you need to be sitting down. But hatred is a feeling that can be both godly and sinful, depending on what it is that is causing us to hate. Because you know, Yeshua said, I hate sin. I hate this court. I'm going to go to John, First John. things write me, write me unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of you, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have a fellowship with him and walk in darkness, listen at this, y'all. We lie and do not tell the truth. So it's obvious you can get caught up lying without realizing the prophets. Because he says, if you were doing these things, are these the same people that held up the Bible? Are these the same people that said, look, I love all people? If we are doing this, it is not hard to see what's going on. I'm going to go to Psalms 97. If you do these things, you have fellowship with me. That means your fellowship is not legit with Yeshua. You might want to check your ballot and Make sure that you are not having a fellowship season with Satan. Let's go to Psalms 97. We got to get it right. 
First of all, we must realize that we have to live on this earth together. When God created this world, he created it for He said that your joy might be complete. Everybody should be able to have joy without, without all this controversy and hate. We should be able to enjoy one another. You know what? I've been talking to different races and just to get to know their background. And I said, do y'all realize how much power we have together? If we would stop. See, one thing about Satan, he will always try to keep you divided. Because as long as he can keep you divided, as long as he can keep lies filtering through the system, you will never be able to come together. But God is saying, put away all of that. It's time that we put away the lies. Matter of fact, I don't even, don't even give that person, don't give them the mic anymore. Because it's dangerous to spill over all these lies and cause somebody's life to be in jeopardy. Psalms 97. Let's go. To, let's see. Understand. No, I'm going to go to six. The heavens declare his righteousness. And all the people see his glory. See, we need to be focusing on what God wants us to do as his people. Confound. Be all that they serve graven images that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. I heard, I, and, and I'm going to tell y'all, y'all need to go watch it. It came out today. Uh, it's, it's called, uh, what is it called? Let me get the name of it because I want to make sure. Fight Like Hell. It's on YouTube. You need to watch that. Because when you look at these people are very much confused and combating that they have been, you know how they used to say bamboo with an ate the wrong stick, with an ate the wrong poison, and it causes our system to get clogged up. He says right here, the heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confound be all they that serve graven images. See, when we have this kind of animosity in our heart, when we are filtered to spill out lies and, and keep confusion going on, what is that saying? That's the, that means that we are serving the wrong God. And, and I was watching it, and they were saying, oh, he is our God. He is our king. Like, oh, that's scary. To have somebody look up to you as though you are their God, as though you are their idol. The devil is a foolish liar to be. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want them to do that. Don't put me on the level where Yahshua sure is. He said, because my ways are not your ways. What did he say? My thoughts are not your thoughts. So his ways and his thoughts are higher than ours. So when we allow idols, you know, is this how the children of Israel got in trouble when Moses went up on the mountain? And what happened that instead of them being prayerful, staying focused, okay, Moses is up there praying. He's talking to God. God's giving him instructions. But here we down here celebrating gold images. Till when Moses came down, what happened? He got angry. He broke the Ten Commandments. He had to go back and rewrite it. He had to go make another tablet because they were simply distracted. There's a lot of demonic forces getting out here that distracts us. I'm telling you. Every time I got to like, you know, there are certain games I like to play, like, you know, those little Chinese games and my panda pop. You know, and sometimes I was like, okay, 
I can sit there and I could just be, I'd be in my own little zone. Because I like those games. And one thing about it, when I'm playing, I hate to be defeated. <laughs> so, you know, I'm competitive like that. That I like, you're not going to defeat me and I'm not going to get this thing right. It, whatever it takes, that I got to win this. I'm willing to do that. You know, just like, whoo, okay. And they be like, oh, you, yeah. Because I refuse to be defeated. I, and that's like, God, if we could get that mindset for you to say, God, I refuse to be defeated. I refuse to be outdone. Then we can see God moving in such a way that we say, whoo. Only God gets the glory. But when we take our eyes off God, we have have a tendency to put our eyes on man. And I say, Lord, that won't be my king. That is not my God. Because I refuse to bow down to that. All right, I told y'all we deal with that never chat leisure season. Ooh, my, 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 my. And he said, Zion heard and was glad. And the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments. O Lord, for thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted above, far above all gods. He that loved the Lord, pay evil. It said, what? We got to hate it. We got to get to that place that we start. St you know what? One thing about it, I, I and I say it all the time, even in the meetings. I'm like, oh, God, help me. Help me. Woosa. You know, I got to go in that woosa moment or that, whew, you know. Yeah, if, if you could really understand. I think if we can understand each other and realize that we all go through things in life, you'll find out we got a lot in common. You might not even look like me, but there's somebody hurting. There's somebody going through adversity right now. There's somebody going through grief. There's somebody going through a mental battle. There is somebody that's going through something. You will find out that when you find people that are full of hate, they're very unhappy. They're not happy. And the only time they become happy is when they put on the throne. Hmm. I was telling Prophetess Lexus, I say every time I show get ready to start, and that music, our beginning of our music, it does something to me. My adrenaline gets pumped. Be like, whoop, I'm ready to go. Rest to do this, you know, it's just like you get excited because you know without a shadow doubt, God, you're gonna get the glory. I don't want his glory because we can't even imagine hanging on the cross. Can you imagine being beat like that? Can you imagine? If somebody said, I want to go back to slavery, I wouldn't be a good slave. So baby, you would have to just take me out because we're going to either take each other out or it, it just won't work. I refuse to bow down to Satan. So guess what? We cannot bow down to man. He perverses the souls of his saint and he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. He preserved the souls of his saints. I'm sorry. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Let me say God's going to do it. I want to encourage somebody tonight because I want you to know without a shadow of doubt. Even if, you know what? I am so grateful because I can be going through something. But somebody will always going to need me to say a word. All right? 
Somebody always going to, if God, just in the midst of me talking to them, he didn't answer my question. Just in the midst, and I'll be like, you know what? If I knew, if I knew you was gonna move like that, I would have. You know, they could have called me a long time ago. In the midst, we can find our own deliverance when we're helping somebody else. It feels good when you help people. It feels good that I'm I'm one. I'm an advocate for the underdog. So when I find people that are under under that radar, I don't mind helping. Why? Because that's what he sent us here to do. Feed the hungry. Feed the widow. Feed the lost. He said, I came for the lost. Did he not say that properly? I came for the lost. So that means he had to come because we were jacked up. We still jacked up. He said, I can't thank God that you came for the lost God. He said, light is shot is shown song for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. He said, rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Now, holiness is not turbans on your head, long dresses, because them dresses can be long, but they know how to come up, okay? Ah, them pants can be way up in your chest, but they know how to come down. Holiness is not about hair and makeup. It's about the heart. It's about loving. It's about respecting one another. It's about pulling somebody else up. You know, and, and I said this the, the other day, I began to pray for Puffy and some other people that probably are connected, the ones God told me to, to pray for. I didn't understand why our people was on social media with all this demise. You know, you, you are gloating on somebody else's downfall. Yes, he has done wrong. But when is the time that God had mercy on you when you hear from him? And I said, God, keep him. Because when you hold that much power and that impact, that can be dangerous. They were saying, he, he, you know, he's, he tried to commit suicide. Not know if it's true or not. But you got to imagine what he's feeling right now. How many would get upset if you found out that Yeshua went to that jail and said, let me talk to you, son. Let me give you a chance to plead your case. Let me say, it would be an honor if God gave Moses. Y'all, don't, don't, don't be so quick to celebrate somebody's demise. Don't do that. You got to be careful because that same grace and mercy that you want, he said you can't get it unless you show it. Ooh. We got to have the evidence that God is with us. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Psalm 26. And I said, God, I thank you because that's somebody's child. I'm going to tell you right now. I would not. One thing about me, when I go through, don't call me and try to gossip and find out what's going on. Call me and say, look, I feel you, sis. I need to pray. I just want to encourage you. There are some of y'all that send me just text messages Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it encourages me because I like it. It's like, whoa. That look like me, you know. Woo, that represent me. At least you send it something that represent me. Come on here. It encourages us. So you, you can say, God, I thank you that somebody is thinking about me. Somebody's praying for me. Somebody is actually concerned about my welfare. So thank God. That didn't he tell us that we are our brother's keeper. Wonder what happened. Ooh. 
what we gonna tell God? I've been trying to figure this out. Does everybody say they're going to heaven? I've been trying to figure this out, God. How is this gonna work? If we ain't getting along up down here, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some issues there. If we can't respect and love one another now, tell me how are we gonna get some love? How are we gonna be able to get along? Tell me. Because without love, your gifts are not even good. If you're not doing it because you genuinely care. And I pray that he feel my prayers. I really feel that they need to feel. You know what? God showed me this over some years ago. And he said, when it go down, I need you to cover them. I need you to pray. Y'all, don't call to gossip about it. Let's say, Father, I thank you for allowing him to see. Now God can deal with him. He can see where he went wrong. But if we killing innocent people and you know they were wrong, now the judgment is on you. How you gonna deal with that, my brothers and sisters? Hmm. Psalms 26. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Number five. I have hated the congregation of evil doers. I just in my word, I got to tell you, you are not in good standards with God right now. And will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands of the innocency. The not, I'm sorry. So will I compass thy altar, O Lord? He says that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving. That I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. I'm going to go back. Even though we might not physically point a gun at somebody, stab somebody, but when this mouth go to talking, we're actually killing them. It's dangerous to kill somebody's reputation. It's not always easy to bounce back from that. So you got to be very careful. Some people are just sitting around to hear the gossip. Now, when it hits you, what's going to happen? Are we going to have that? You know, you, when you go through, you want everybody. You want the National Guard, the Army, the Marines, the Air Force. You want everybody to have mercy on you. I believe. Is there anything to hard for God? I believe. If we will stop hating with animosity and look at each other out of the eyes of love. Because I can imagine when Abraham messed up, when David messed up, when Moses messed up, I can imagine God didn't look at them like, oh, you're getting on my nerve. You know, we'll say something like that. I'm through with you. I'm, you know, you want to pull down the walls. But Yeshua looks at them he said, I see your plans. Because if you got to realize when somebody can go to that level, there is some pain in it. There is something that has happened tragically in their life. You don't wake up overnight and want to be this type of person. There has something been taken. There's something that has taken place, y'all. Do you know we all are walking around 
with pain that we still are dealing with from childhood to relationshiphood to friendshiphood familyhood you dealing with some kind of hood all right you are dealing with something maybe your children act up maybe, maybe your spouse act up. maybe you're going through something on your job maybe you're going through a physical uh 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 pain in your body there is something that we're all dealing with but we keep allowing hate to cause us to miss God you know I got this book and this is uh, the right and he talks about the truth he said if the truth be told you would have been fully aware of the government sponsored imprisonment, the torture, the lynching, the execution, the lung disease. If you can imagine it, many times we have shown what's going on behind those bars. Many times, I don't know about y'all, but when my family get in a situation it bothers me to not like God I can't leave them in that condition you are gonna have to do something you know because I need to make sure they're okay because many times we don't really know everything that they go through or some things they will never share with you why because pain brings change Pain, pain likes to hide itself. Pain tries to keep you in a tormented way. To say, oh, Pastor, don't you let nobody know that? Because, whoo, girl, if they know that, you're going to be embarrassed. I'll be the first one to tell you, yes, I got molested. I don't want to walk around with that pain problems. I want to help somebody else. Now I gotta pray daily. And I said daily to forgive. I'm dead serious. We don't just get over stuff over midnight. There's a process in our lives that God will allow you to go through. Now he could hear you just like that. But I believe that if he just healed us like that, we really haven't learned anything. We really don't understand that journey. And I said to him, I said, God, you said everything that I've gone through, you would reward me with joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance nine fruits of the spirit then I'll be able to say God I thank you that you didn't let me die in this situation I thank you Father that I didn't get caught up in drugs and stuff like that thank you God for keeping my mind you have you one thing about it is that when we look at our life and we look at past relationships Past other ships, <laughs> we start reminiscing and realizing, God, you allow me to go through that. Do you understand that God uses everything as a process? Hmm. We're talking about a process, God. Everything. He already knew prophets you was going to be hurt. Everything. But now he's using that process to get you ready for that next dimension. Woo. If, yo, woo, everything that we go through is a process. But do you understand? 
the greater the pain, the greater the victory, that he is preparing you for something greater than you can even imagine. Mm. Somebody needs to hear that. I need to hear that. Everything that we go through is a process. And truth be told, I tell, tell church people in a minute, y'all need to start telling the truth. Stop telling the truth. Don't be afraid of your scars. Allow your scars to be out there so somebody else can hear your testimony. So somebody else can come through. Oh my God. Imagine if we would have told our testimony and not been ashamed. Imagine somebody could have not committed suicide. Didn't lose their mind. We are not alone. But one thing he does require for us to be concerned about one another. To love on one another. You know what? I meet people all the time and I'm, I tell them all me strangers because I will be lying and saying I do. Somebody always get, I just need a hug. Doesn't matter if they dressed up. And I might not understand their story. I just hug them for where they are. This is how God works in our life. He hugs on us. He loves on us just because of who you are. Do you know what I love about it? He's not walking around in shame about your life. Neither is he cut off guard because of what you have been through, the choices you made, the things you said, the things you thought about, the things you looked He's not blown away. He said, this is the reason why I had to send my son. So when you did mess up, the price is already paid. Not guilty. Ooh. Not guilty. Oh my God. Not guilty. We're going to bring this on in. Go, to, go back to first John. Get ready to bring it on in. This is a, a nice little book. It really is. And it talks about the truth. The notes. Tell me the truth. Don't give me no fairy tale. Because one thing about it, if I need a foundation. That foundation is built on love and the truth. Mm -hmm. well, let me stop at Ephesians 6. Now, if y'all keep this together, I'm going to go right here for a minute. I promise you, you're going to bring the penalty. Oh, glory to God. I want to uh, go to Ephesians 6 and just keep your place in uh, 1 John if you need to. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Let me say again, when I told you all that God said, if you honor your mothers, how he was going to bless you. And one thing about it, can I, can I just be real? For those that are dealing with pain and you still angry with your parents, can I tell you, let it go. They did what they knew how to do. There is no special book to teach us anything. We as parents, we are always, always, always praying for you. And there might have been some parents that didn't make the right choices. But you're still here, so that means you making the right choices. That means God meant for you to come through. So you could be a living testimony to mom and dad. 
But when you carry this animosity around and you're dealing with pain from your past and you haven't gotten over that, that stagnates us. Number three, that it may be. That it may be well with thee, and that thou may live long on earth. Any tell you parents, don't provoke your children around. Don't be calling them all out their name. Call them. Up. We got. We got to grow up now. We got to tell them, men. Tell your sons who they are. Because if you don't, the world want to introduce them to the negativity. Ladies, tell your daughters the queens they are. Because the devil wants to take them down a road that they are not going to like at all. Woo. When you know, what they say, when you know better, you do better. But now, God is saying, okay. I'm holding us responsible for teaching them. I'm holding you responsible for teaching. Look, I said, okay. First John, you see, the second chapter. in the fifth verse. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hmm. I may need that perfected love. Hereby know that we, that we are in him. We belong to Yahshua. He that saith he abided in him are himself also to walk even as he walked. Love. Love conquers. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love keeps you from slapping somebody down the road. Love keeps you from getting somebody with a stick and trying to beat them. That ain't really, they hurt me, did it? No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yes, yes, yes. You know how they say Woosa. You got to calm down because in the midst of being angry, so much can happen. He says in the seventh verse, Brethren, I write no new commandments unto you. Listen here. But an old commandment, which he told us from the, what? The beginning? He told us in the beginning these are the commandments. Somehow I keep saying, y'all, we got to get back to the commandments. We got to get back to those commandments. Brethren, I write no new commandment. I want you to underline that. So don't take your opinion trying to write a new commandment under there. Don't add to and don't take away. Hmm. But an old commandment, which he had from the beginning, the old commandment is the word, which he had heard from the beginning. He said, again, a new commandment I write unto you, which things is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past. And the true light now shining. He said, brethren, I'm, I'm coming to you with the old commandments. And you know what? That, that takes me back to our first love. Because Yahshua has a way of taking you back. What he said, go back and remember the things you were taught when you was a child. Paul said, when I was a child, I did things of when I became a man, what happened? I put away childish things. Some people are still holding on to childish things. 
and it's causing your life to be in a shipwreck moment, a way of destruction. But greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Can we practice on loving each other? He that say he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even until now. Woo! Better get it right. We better get stop this disrespecting. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is no occasion of stumbling on him. None. He said, let's begin to show love. Real love has a way of allowing you to feel it. You will understand. Surely I am loved. It is a blessing to know that you are loved. It's a blessing to know that God had his hand on you. It's a blessing to know everything that you went through in life is not in vain. It's a blessing from the good, the bad, the ugly. He said, but I'm going to make it work for your good. It's working for your good. Let's bring in the God bless you, prophet. I ain't seen you in about 20 years. I'm just playing. <laughs> God bless you, Pastor. Where are you at in the dark? What is going on with your life? What are, what are you doing? Let me hear from y'all tonight. You gotta come on out that corner, girl, and stop. You can't hide like that. Remember that song said, "Come on out that corner, you can't hide." Yeah, and come on out that corner, you can't hide. God's got His hand on you. Yes, He will do it for you. Come on out that corner, you can't hide. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, oh. Because there was, there was one, one guy, guy that used to work with me. There was this one lady, she, she, she was kind of iffy with it and stuff. stuff. And he said, he said, he said, the other girl, he's not really like her. Every time she sees me, she speaks to me. She's not, he said, but that other. He said, he said, he kept saying she rubbed me the wrong, the wrong way. And people know that they, they know these things, they do. That's why I said we have to be so careful. Because even all the stuff that you're seeing in the news, news today, it, it's easy to look at that person and then you just develop a hatred for them. But we have to know that we can't do that. We, we can't do it that way. Because, because like, I said, like, like you said, said earlier, earlier, it could be easy to do it. But like, like when we just read in the word at first John. Anyone that say that he loved, you know, he, he hated his brother and said he loved God, you can't. Because I said, I said that's one of the same. So you have to be careful how we how we treat people, how we interact with people, because uh, because there are some people that might that, that, that may not be where you are, but we still cannot treat them like dirt and then expect to oh God, I praise you, I just give you all the honor. But 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 you just saw. Uh, you know, one of my children in need. You just saw him hurting, but yet, 
you know, no, you did the wrong thing. That's why I said, so, so, so we just have to be careful with what I'm hearing you say, right? Like, right. even things that are going on that have been said in politics. It's easy to get out of the boat. You know what I'm saying? And that crazy. But, 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 but we can't do that. Because I think this person needs prayer. Right? They definitely need a lot of prayer. Anyone that's in that political arena right now needs a lot of prayer going up. Because I think there's so much stuff being said, there's so much, so much, so many lies, yes. so many disinformation, or misinformation, and like I say, it's easy to get latched on to that and start, you know, uh, you know, going out, going out of the left, in the left field. But, but we have to be careful. Like I said, we can't do what the world does. Yes, we're in the world, but we're not up there. We're not. We can't go because I heard you say easily somebody can say something. A wrong thing is, you can, they say, you know, you look, boom, boom. you look, pop somebody in the back of the head. You're not the mouth. Those, those, those are the old <laughs> days. Yeah. You know, those are the old <laughs> days. Like, right. so now there's a different walk, there's a new walk, and we can't do those things. Now what you have to do, basically, like you said, walk away, because if you don't walk away, yes, things will take place. But like I said, but we know the word for ourselves, and we know we have to have a different walk, a different path, because we can't do what everybody else does. Even though people spew all the heat. We can't go for y'all just because they, they do. do. I said there's, there's, there's a lot of lots going on too. But like I said, but we, uh, but yes, like I said, me personally, I can be honest with you. Some of the things that I see now, you know, that they're showing on the TV or on the internet or whatever, I see why they tell you to really bag off of it sometimes because they can get you in a spot where you get to think that. Did they just say that? I know they could say that. You know what I'm saying? And then your mind gets to, get to think a different way. And, you know, what would what, what you can come back with? You know, even like on social, social media, I heard you say that earlier. You know, the trolls, the people that are on there with their comments and people on there just saying hateful things and mean things. I'm just saying, but do you actually, you know, you're hiding behind a, a computer screen, basically, with your door. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're spewing out this hate and, and, and all this. It just, I, I don't know. It just, sometimes I, be, I look at some of my says, do these people really know what they're saying? And to hate people without a cause. Yeah. And to call people all kinds of names. I wouldn't want to open my mouth and do that. But that's what people do because they get so intertwined into everything that's going on. And they don't know how to get themselves extricated from it. They really don't. And they, they and they, and they, this is, because I was listening to a young lady today. She said her dad is the veteran. And uh, they were talking about the January 6th uh, insurrection. They, they, they made a documentary about it. Oh, it came out tonight. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, she said, my dad, my dad is, she said, as old as he was. She said, but his dad there, he listened to everything that they said. Everything he did, he really did. You guys are doing the wrong thing. You know, she did. And her dad was one of the people that went to the White House. And she did. And the lady said, but if you don't surround yourself with people, you know, you know, you know, they can teach you the right thing or or say, say, you should be doing that. She did. He's a little bit late. Yes, yes, that's what happened. He was a young guy. But he served, he served the military. military. And he, he thought, thought this is this what should have been, been, this is what needs to be done. done. They go they in and store the right house. Right so we can so we show, show them, them, you know, show that they were paid, paid, you know, that we served the military, you know, we, we want to save our country. country. And, and she said, she said, uh, uh, she said uh, the first thing was shame. But she said, but I don't have to do anything. She said, anyone, they did the wrong information, or if they sit there and hear the officers on the cross of the airway, it's, it's easy, easy to be a slave. She said, it, it, it happens. So it's so just so, so with us, us being me and women of the house, we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Because they can be able to have it to anyone. That's why I say, we don't want to get out of the boat and do what everybody else is doing. So this is not the time to do that. It's time to fight. It's time to fight right. It's time to do what is right. But it's not time to do what is right. You know, everybody on the side, everybody on the side. We have to fight for freedom and things they, 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 that, 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 that they, they should have, have or we know we should have. have. But, as, but far as far as like going, going into left field, field and, 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 and doing everything that somebody else is doing, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Do that. Do that. Like I said, the, the love, love is going to be there. there. But when you, but, but, you, but, 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 the, but, but, but just the just way things are going right now, I'm just trying to prepare. Like I say, every now and then I might watch something or listen to something, but I say, you know, I'm going to 
Starting at 13, it said, Marvel not, my brother. If the world hate you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we know that we have passed from death unto life. Mm -hmm. Because we love the brother. He that loveth not his brother abided in death. When you have mm -hmm. that kind of animosity, you are walking dead. And when I was looking at that, y'all please watch that. When I was watching, uh, watching it, I was like, Lord, they are like in a zombie, like they are in a, a state of mind that they're not there anymore. And if you look in their eyes, it's dark. You can't see nothing else. And because they're full of all of this, and give us our country back. Well, I, I do believe Yahshua created this world, didn't he? I, I, I believe he created it for everybody. I never knew that it was just for certain people. He says, because you have look, that's deep. You have passed from life. If you got all that hate, you are in a yeah. death moment. But he said, we have passed from death. When you love, oh, that's an awesome God. You done came from death out of your sin, out of your mess. He loved you. He could have look. He could have exposed you to everything. You, you understand? But he covered you mm. and brought you from death to life. He said, "So don't 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 count it joy. I mean, don't 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 get upset when you see the world hate you. It's a good thing. Yeah, because it can." It hate is either spiritually or natural. And Yahshua said, I hate it. There are things he said. There are certain people he said, I hate them. He meant it. He didn't change his mind. And one thing, when you go out and act like a New York nut, one thing I love about him, he just won't change his mind. I was talking to one of my Apostle friend, and she's like, Apostle King, we just cannot get away from it. It ain't gonna happen. You can run, you can run to Mars, come back. It ain't gonna happen. Whatever he said about you, didn't he say, I'm gonna complete the work? Do you think that he's gonna let his work go in vain? Woo. And he took it from a death situation because if you think about it, when you walk around with that animosity and all that hate, you are dead. You're just not in the ground. But you have lost yourself. And God is saying, it's time that we keep spilling the truth. 
Yeah. Yeah. We should not be afraid as leaders. I, I'm not understanding leaders that are afraid to, to approach any of this. We have to confront it. Y'all know I believe you hit that devil head on. Put him in a deer like situation. He cannot move forward. When we realize that, then we can say, God, we thank you. Because somebody's listening. Somebody's heard. Somebody might even be at a point like, I'm, I'm just ready to give it up. It ain't worth it. Da, da, da. But we got to say, no. He ain't not through with you. Think about it. When you fell in that fire, you could have fell in that fire and just demolished right there. But he said, I got you. He put you in the line of fire, but he brought you out of it. Yeah. For a reason. He allowed you to go through what you went through, Providence, even with your sister. But he kept you. That could have been you. When I think about my life, I was like, my God. That could have been me. But somehow, in some way, he said, no, I got you in reserve. See, it put us in reserve. <laughs> and he said, okay, you, you're going to go through some things, again, this year, but I got you in reserve. And nothing can separate us from that reserve. Hmm. Nothing. We can't even separate our own self from this reserve. Woo, this is deep. Let me hear from you, prophets. That God is something else. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and and I'm, I'm glad, glad though, that, that, you that, that you have touched, touched on, on because when, when you, you start, start talking about, about uh, love, love and hate and, and the, the hatred that, that's, that, that people have, have and, and the, the deception and the discord and, and all of that, you know, and I think about all of us. You know, you know, all, all those people, people, especially in this country. country. Yes. If we, if we really, 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 all of us start, start to sit down, down and have, start, start to have real, real conversations. conversations. I mean, I mean real, real, real. We'll, we'll get, get to the bottom of a lot of things. Yes. We'll, we'll find, find out. Not throwing the books away. Not stopping there. Huh? We'll find, we'll find out, out so many. many Different, different indoctrinations and programming. And we, we will see the, 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 the truth. truth. Um, um, because, like, because you like you said, said the, the discord and the, and the deception, deception is what causes the division. The division. And, and really, really a lot of us are, are alike. You, you know, know, our skin, skin color may be different. different. Yep. You know, you know and some things in culture wise, how we grew up, certain things, they made it different. But there's, and there's, there's, there's some, some things, really, really we started, started having have real conversations. conversations. The people, people started, started looking at how, how are we, are we starting to have how you view one another, what's been, what's been shown, shown to us. And, and not, not, not that the things, things aren't real, real. Because, because some of us have gone through some real situations. You know, you know, and we, we, we are, we do, we do gotta, gotta be careful, careful yes, to not, to not uh, be, be like, like overly trusted in, 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 in that way. We just, we have, just have to trust, trust people to be themselves. themselves. But, I but I really believe for those, for those who are willing, willing to have, to have real the real conversations, conversations. We, will we will get to, to we will really, really get to, to the bottom of a lot of things. And even when you're talking about parents and how. Uh, you know, you know I, 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 I went through, through that, that and, this and it's just like, like when I when look, I look at, at it for at, at my age, age that, that I am now, now it's so crazy, crazy how, how, you know, you know when you're younger, you think, think you know so much. It's like, I don't know, for me, the older I get, I know some things, but it's like, People, people are only do they, they doing the best they know how, and, and parents, and, and, and sometimes, sometimes we question the how come my mother didn't do this and didn't prepare me this, 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 this way. way. If, if she, you, you know, if she, she would have known, known, I'm sure she would have done it. And, and, and the thing about it is, too, we're at the age now, information 
it's, it's, it's so, so easily, easily we, can, we, can, we, got we got access to so much information that we want to know something, something. We, can we can find out, out about it. And so, and so um, um, that, whole that whole thing about, about even having the animosity, animosity towards, towards your parents. And I, I, was, I didn't, didn't have the animosity, but, but and there's, and there's nothing, nothing wrong with even people, people that do have it. I, I, I feel like, like the, healing the healing comes when you're, when you're true and honest, honest about it. But at, but the, at the same, same time, time, once you release, release that, that truth, have, 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 have that, that compassion. compassion. You know, you don't, don't get the, get the release, release for yourself. But at, but at the, the same, same time, time still look at, at the situation in a, in a realistic way, way and, not and not just through your own tunnel vision of what happened to you. You have to, because a lot of... You know, you know parents, parents or, or children, children you know, you know that, that look at their parents a certain way. Once they, they become, become parents, they, they begin to see life is not all black, black and white, and it's not all cookie, cookie cutter. cutter and it's, 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 it's this, this is, you know, you know and, 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 and it's just like, like I, I, I really, I believe that. The more, the more we're willing to really have real, real honest, honest conversations, conversations. Yes. All, all of that, 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 that we'll, we'll find out where the discord is. Oh, yeah. Yes. Man. 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 To look, to look at, at certain, certain people, people certain, certain ways and, and, and view, view, you know, you know view view things, things this, this way, way and another, another way. way. It's, not, it's not, but, but I just, I just feel, feel like that love, love for, those for those who are willing, willing but, but the ones that are willing, willing see that, that you, know, you know, even, even when it comes to justice, justice and looking at things the way God does. Yeah. It, it, you know, you know it might. might. Some, some people might, might view that, that as dangerous, but that's where, where the, real the real truth comes, comes in. in. And, we'll, and we'll, you know, you know we'll, we'll be able to see, see things, things, you know, you know are, are always what they've, what they've been projected to be. And we don't have to look at each other, other and be against, against one, one another all the time. time. You, know, you know, we may not agree on everything, but it doesn't have to be, you know, all the division all the time. So, but I, but I do thank you for the word, word tonight. tonight. Yes, because you know, when you think about it, our parents only did what they were taught. Their parents did what they were taught. And we already know that it was a what whole lot left out, you know, that kept yes. us yes. Yes. separated and kept us in disarray. But now that we're finding out the truth, yeah, we have yes. awakened, because we're not going to sleep, we can't. Right. right. That he now he's saying, go back and teach them. Go back and teach right. them. Teach them. And you just said, if we could just sit down, that would, that's a that's a pet. I would love to buy. If we get to sit down, mm -hmm. he said, come and let us reason together. Yeah. 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 I even say to the body of Christ, yes. so yes. many Especially. times it's, it's embarrassing to me because they act worse than the ones in the world. When we are in church and we have guns in the pulpit and talking all this crazy stuff, Tearing each other down, y'all. It's not working. It's not working. That and that bothers me. And even I would, you know, see comments where people would say something negative about uh, Harris. I said, first of all, if you don't like her, that's your business. You need to go pray. Cause really, was you there when she was prosecuted? And like yeah, I told y'all, I talked to. Game member, mm -hmm. and we we yeah. supposed to get back together, cause I want to sit down and talk. Let let us let, talk. Right. And this Gen Gen X uh, uh, generation, we got a mm -hmm. They got the yeah. right perspective, 
but they need some help. They need guidance. They need to be taught. Y'all, this is not, we don't go out, jump across the boat with white chairs flying in there. <laughs> we we got to make sure that we are going to fight this battle the right way. But God is saying to us, show my love. The greatest thing you can show is love. And you know, so many people have been reaching out. They was just like making comments. They said, you got a, you got a genuine heart. But a lot of people misunderstood yeah. your heart. They misunderstood me. And he's and they were saying they didn't realize the jewel you was. And I was like, oh God, that's true. But I know my heart. I love his people. And I love helping people. And like I, I tell them all the time, nothing I gotta put on. I do it anyway. Because I don't mind giving I, it don't take for me to stop and encourage somebody. When I look at them, they look like they're in distress. Maybe are you, you okay? You okay, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Cause I think about uh, Pastor Stephen. That could be my child out there. That could be my grandbaby. That could be my niece and nephew. I want to make sure that even, even though my nephews are hard headed, my niece, I want to make sure the love that we're building. And showing that somebody would show them when we're not around. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's important to me that when we understand one another. And I'm not saying you got to get in somebody's life deep and all that. You ain't got to get all up in their personal business. Yeah. <laughs> Just encourage them. Let them know. Let them know. That might be the last time that they're going to walk this earth. You don't know. We don't know. Even when I go and minister to, to the homeless people, I like to go back around and see where they are. Are they okay? Are they moving on? Because that's a concern. Correct. If we could just learn that. If we could learn that. We must love one another. I thank you, ladies, for tonight. Thank God that we are so transparent that we're not afraid to show who we are. We're not afraid to let you know, baby, what you see today. I ain't look like that a while back. Yeah, if you could have saw the storm I was going through. I'm telling you, you'll be like, you don't look like what you've been through. That's yeah, yeah. You don't judge a book by the cover. You gotta get in there and, and read the story first. Yeah. Then you'll be like, oh my goodness. I wonder if we could just exchange each other's life someday and see what you went through, I went through, they went through. We'll be like, Ooh, you know that that show white uh, is a swap white swap wives. why we don't need to swap no wives okay but we do need to we need to see each other life we ain't swapping no husbands either uh then you keep what belong to you i'm gonna keep what belong to me okay but it's just like this is so vital now because of the pain and what I'm saying is because I see what's coming and it's vital that we release this. We see it coming. We see it coming. But to God be the glory. If we can reach just one, two, three, four. I'm like Abraham now. Five. What about five? Six, seven, eight. I just want to keep that number going because we don't want to leave nobody behind. Mm -hmm. And we know what we say, not one will be lost. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Those oh. words are sealed. Yes. yes. When we said it, it went in stone. I got you. Not even you will be lost. Not one will be lost. I don't care what they're doing right now. I tell, don't get caught up on that. There's no God God. It's just his moment of time when he goes, ha ha. He knows what time to show up. He knows how to show up. And he knows what to do when he get there. <laughs> and that's what I thank God. That's why I said, y'all, please don't celebrate somebody denies. Don't do it. Oh. Don't do that. And I'm talking to the people tonight. Don't do that. Because you might have had somebody in your family that God was something. Mm -hmm. And you know the pain that we carry. But I never open my mouth and say, God, I need you to kill them. I need you to go and take them out. No. Father, I forgive them. Because I need to be forgiven. I need. It's me, God, standing in me in prayer. And when we think like that, we see people on a whole different page. So we thank God for tonight. Woo, glory to God. Pastor Steve, would you pray for the people tonight? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Heavenly gracious Father. I just, I just come, come to you tonight, Lord. Lord, thank you for the Lord. Lord, there's so much hate and so much bad that's going on around you right now. But you might be right now to my body and my body and my body. We have more life in your heart. And I pray that the people will begin to see each other for who they are. And for who you created them to be. Lord, I just thank you for the people that have received you and one of us so far. Lord, do you even the things that you've got on 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 the things that
thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Yes. For what you're going to do, oh Lord. Lord, we just thank you. Thank you, God. We thank you. And we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. And these are the blessings that you have. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 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 You are worthy to be Yes, you are. Worthy. 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 Lord, I thank you. Lord, you know what you need. Yes. Lord, I thank you. 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 Lord, I thank you for your people. And I thank you for the time. That you need to bless her. Yes, God. Yes. 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 Yes, that we, that we will do the same. The same. Yeah. That we, that we will look after people, people, see what, see what the needs, needs are, yes, God. see what, what the issues they can help with. But we just thank you for it right now. Thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I want to encourage you all to know that God is truly with you. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. He truly loves you. He loves you. And he's concerned about everything that you're going through. Even from stumping your toe to breaking your toe down. He's, he's concerned. He is concerned. Mm-hmm. Thank you. 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 God, we just thank you. Thank you for bringing families back together, mending. Mending, Father. We thank you for mending. Mending the pain, God. Yes, yes, of course. Taking the stripe out. Knowing at the end we're going to need each other, God. I thank you. Yes, yes, yes. You alone are worthy to be praised. Yes, yes, Lord. God, we thank you for the north, south, east, and west. Yes, yes, We thank you for gathering them in. Mm-hmm. God, go, go for me in now. Yes, yes, yes Lord. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. God, we thank you for keeping bread in them, even this hurricane that's coming to Florida. I thank yes. you for keeping my children safe. No harm, no danger, Father. I thank you. Glory. Glory. Father, we thank you for keeping our children as off in college, nieces and nephews, as away from their family. God, keep them protected. Yes, yes, from Lord. danger seen and unseen. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Mm-hmm. God, you see the animosity. You see the plot. You see the plan. You see the ambush. You've been talking ambush for a minute. God, I thank you. Thank you, God, for keeping them on their jobs. Thank you, God. Yes. 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 Thank you, God. Even on the highways and the byways, keep them yes. safe, God. Airways, keep them safe. Yes. 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 Oh, God, we bless your name. Bless your name. Father, we just thank you for forgiveness coming back in the family. Just forgiveness. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my, 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 my. my. Forgiveness. God, get a hold of his mind, Father. Get a hold to him. He's right there that you can talk. 
We all know that no child is born with hate. Hate is taught. We must pay attention to its reach. What it can do, its capacity to completely destroy, its capacity to completely dehumanize. We need to understand that no society in the world is immune from hate speech. 
I've just come back from Cox's in Bangladesh, and I spent a um, lot of time among the Rohingya people. His speech was employed to dehumanize the Rohingya, referring to them as subhuman, referring to them as fleas, referring to them as funds that needed to be removed, and ultimately, that is precisely what happened. By the time they arrived in Bangladesh, they had gone through decades of torture, decades of displacement, decades of dehumanization, and this hate speech that has been employed is something that we must pay attention to. There is a lot of information on Bosnia and Herzegovina, on what happened in Srebrenica. The hate speech that preceded and accompanied the killing of the men and boys in Srebrenica. There is a lot of information on the Tutsi in Rwanda and the moderate Hutu. And the hate speech that was used to describe the Tutsi, how they were dehumanized. We need to look at uh, what happened to the Jews during the Holocaust. We need to see how much his speech was employed to the extent that propaganda really was just spewing out his speech against the Jews, describing them in ways that were designed to make it possible for the ordinary person on the street to just get out and participate in either killing the Jews or reporting on them or getting rid of them. So, my message really to everybody is that genocides happen within communities. Genocides happen to you and me. When a genocide unfolds, the people targeted are people who are ordinary and we must keep paying specific attention to the narratives that we pass on from one generation to the other. They are narratives uh, in which communities share um, the trauma they experience and they pass it on to their children. We all know that no child is born with hate, that hate is taught. And then we know that the first step of socialization for a child is the family. The child begins to hear about hate from parents, from siblings. They begin to hear about stereotypes about other ethnic communities, about other racial, religious communities, and begin to understand that there is something called an other, that there is us and then there is the other. We then go to the schools and then we keep being socialized this time by the media, by religious organizations, by the political issues that we see happening. At this point, the child is now probably getting into university and they began to internalize hate. They have the stereotypes in place, they have the prejudices in place. Then what that means is that that adult who was a child born without hate becomes the person who continues the next cycle of socialization. And ultimately what happens is that when people begin to fight each other, especially at the local level, then we have a war on our hands and we know how to hurt this to stop us. So what that means is that we must find ways to keep interrupting that circle of socialization through education, through knowledge, through having friends from different ethnic, racial, religious communities. And what I've learned is that the same tools that are used to spread hate are often turn out to be the best tools to counter hate speech. So, for example, the cell phone, it's become a tool that's almost indispensable to many people. And it's also become a tool in which hate speech is spread through social media. The same tool can be used to counter hate speech. Social media, it's still an extremely useful tool of engagement. We just need to know how to speak to the issues that people need address. We must have conversations with our children and tell them not to fear difference and tell them that difference is a really good thing. It's 
the perspectives that each brings to the table are perspectives that you would never hear if you just stay with people who look and speak like you. Recording stopped.